Okay, I'm back. Part two. Um, like I said, they're not the original people. So it's very difficult for them to find a different script. Okay? And I don't mean that in any kind of racist way. I just mean it like this is the same story from King Herod on back, right? Let's kill the boy babies. Um, let's they multiply, grow to uh, take over. Remember? Come on, all you Christians. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Isn't that what the mantra was? Come, let's do away with them before they... But it's the same thing now. The black and brown numbers are beginning to look and know that they're going to overtake these European numbers. So now it's the turn up on black and brown bodies. As you can see, any fool can see that. And so the sad part about it is we're so psychotic, we don't understand that if we could just focus and hold on and do what we got to do, some of us are not going to make it. But if the majority of us would just think, then we would stop killing people in our own army. We wouldn't have what they call, quote unquote, friendly fire against ourselves. <laughs> so freaking crazy. But again, we've been driven mad, just like those rats in those boxes that, um, you know, the European loves to socially engineer and do all these tests and then just throw them back out of science. Unfortunately, um, a lot of us that don't like that kind of information, we can't identify with our behavior and see that we have some type of Stockholm syndrome. So it makes it real difficult to bring the truth to a lot of us. But a lot of us, Always want to wear the moniker of a Christian. So I said, well, how can I get this point across? Um, in terms of we got to come out from her. People have to stop thinking that America is the be all in all. It is because that's all you know. You have to start thinking about moving somewhere else getting up exodus if you want to stay alive in my humble opinion because as as i was thinking about scripture and reading scripture like i said scripture has this place in my life and i hope um, it has place in yours but if it don't that's neither here nor there for me I hope you can find space to eat the meat, throw away the bone, okay? But check this one out. It says, all nations, for all nations have drunk of the wine and of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right? The merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. The great America. The great United Snakes of America. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All nations set down her feet, have drunk with her. She's manipulated them, France, Germany, all of them. They've sat down. But she's always been the shiny beacon on the hill, right? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye not receive her plagues. For her sins have reached unto the heavens. And God have remembered her iniquities. You think that she going to be able to do all this stuff that she's done to the human family and get away with it? God ordained America to be like the Khalifa of all the societies. The one that God found favor. Look how fast she rose. Look how she was giving, uh, uh, giving grace. 
after all the mayhem and evilness that she was doing, but she had that beautiful, those beautiful words. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And they're trying to develop a more perfect union. They know what they did was wrong. Uh, we are a developing into a more, but they lied. See, after this is all this time, it ain't no joke. It's not an accident. They're hypocrites. When they wrote that stuff down, Thomas Jefferson was having sex with the kid, Sally Hemmings, giving her babies, and yet had nerd to sit there and talk about all men are created equal, but wouldn't free his slaves. Wouldn't do it. See the hypocrisy? See what the foundation of this country is? Yeah. It said, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, her double according to her works. In a cup which she had filled, fill to her double. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she has said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and I shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come out and they come in one day. Death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the God who judges her. I don't know what y'all think about that. Look at that. All the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. You better get out of here. <coughs> She's going to be judged. She's vet. She's gone. She. You can't put this much hatred out to the human family and continue and think you can't be stopped. What arrogance! What pompousness! Oh my God! But you know what? Those that have eyes, let them see. Those who have ears, let them hear. You know what kind of energy you send it out. And if you don't, if you're willing to sit in a situation where you can learn after you've lived a privileged life, then you have my respect. You have my salutations. You have my honor. But if you are arrogant, piece of crap, like this Sarah Irwin who thinks her children are better than somebody else's, that her kids telling her don't go to work today is much more important and special as her fellow officers that are killing people in front of their kids. You are in that cesspool with the rest of them, that Neanderthal group. I just think it does us best to get away. It does. Because you've lost favor with God because of your hypocrisy. And I don't think that you can come back. You've gone too far with Great Babylon. I'll see you in the next video. I thank y'all for listening to me. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share. I didn't mean to go off on that scripture today, but that article just got me so crazy. That's what popped into my mind. And who in the hell? It, it, 
Is that what you call projection? The whole narcissistic branch of, of behaviors popped into my mind. The whole madness of what we have to live amongst people who are projecting on us how they feel and how they think and what they've done. They're absolutely afraid that we're going to do to them what they've done to us because they know it's been wicked. And they know what has happened to us is wrong, but they refuse. They refuse. They keep perpetuating the big lie. And I don't mean the votes. You've been driven mad. That's why y'all like Donald Trump so much. Because he's mad. He's a narcissist. He's a sick individual who has no feelings for nobody. And that's what y'all like. That's the leader that a lot of y'all want. I won't say the whole uh, sh sh shebang and committal, but too much for my comfort zone and my comfort level of humanity when I look at the people that uh, converged on the Capitol and nothing was done to them and how these people in Congress are trying to make excuses for them and the American people want to follow a straight narcissist like this man right here, knowing if you study narcissistic behavior, you know the end of that is going to be hell. You already know. And if you put that in leadership and you keep it in leadership, then that means we got a sick nation. But like I said, I got to come out from her. I don't want to partake in her drunken wine. And I'm just suggesting a lot of y'all do the same. And I want to know what y'all think about my opinion. Okay? I really do. How many of y'all are even thinking seriously about, you know, getting out of here? How many of y'all are seriously thinking about going to Canada, going someplace else? Uh, or do you do you really feel like this is all you can have? This is all you got? And do you really think that? I need to know what you think, family. Please let me know. All right? And I will see you in the next freaking video. I love y'all, and I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye-bye.